Okay, so today we're gonna to show you how to install the deionization add-on kit for your Stealth reverse osmosis system. Now typically RO water is gonna come out to be about three to 4% of whatever your total dissolved solids were coming out of your tap to begin with. So deionization as a final stage will remove those remaining PPMs. Zero PPM water is, is good for certain applications. Uh, window washing, aquariums use uh, deionization water. There's certain medical applications that use DI water. There's a lot of different things you need absolute pure DI water for, so. The first thing you wanna do when you get your kit is put this bracket on. And that way, if you have your stealth mounted onto the wall, you can just mount this DI kit right next to it in line. So you can use just a regular Phillips head screwdriver if you wish. I'm gonna do this because it's a little faster. Now your next step, once these are mounted on the wall, of course, go ahead and remove the product water tubing from your Stealth RO and use the small length of white quarter inch tubing that came with your kit to connect the product water side of your Stealth to the input of your deionization filter. Then take that remaining quarter inch blue tubing that you removed from your Stealth and use that as your output on your DI. And once this is hooked up, you're ready to turn your source water back on. The RO water coming out of the Stealth will then go through the deionization filter and come out at zero PPMs. Now the estimated life of DI resin is about 7,500 PPM. So to calculate how long your filter should last, take the PPM of your RO water and divide that into 7,500. You should be left with the estimated number of gallons that you're able to make before a filter change. For instance, if your PPMs are coming out at five, then divide that into 7,500, and you should be able to make about 1,500 gallons before a filter change. Also, if you'll notice, the resin is kind of a blue color. That resin will start to turn more of a brown, tannish color when it's time for it to be replaced. So that's another indicator that it's time to change a filter.